Oklahoma trying to bounce back from that terrible overtime loss at Texas on Wednesday, holding Senior Day festivities on Saturday, even though the Sooners will host West Virginia this next Wednesday. Did you keep track of all that? Okay. Merrill Osby, Andrew Fitzgerald, Stephen Pledger, Sam Grooms, among those honored on Saturday afternoon as the Sooners hosted dangerous Iowa State. It was Stephen Pledger who hits the three-pointer as Oklahoma opens up on a 12-2 run. Pledger now second place on OU's career three-pointers made list. Jalon Hornbeek with a nice alley-oop pass to Cam Clark, who dunks it down. Clark had six points, three rebounds. The Sooners were coasting up by double digits. Oklahoma had a season-low five turnovers on the day. Sam Grooms had another outstanding game. The senior point guard hits the three-pointer as the shot clock expires and the first half comes to an end. The Sooners led 40-28. to 28. Oklahoma shooting nearly 52%, Cyclones under 35%. All four of the Sooner seniors who suited up scored in double figures as they combined to score 65 of the Sooners' 86 points in the game. When Stephen Pledger hit that three-pointer, Oklahoma was up by 20. Pledger had 14 points, four rebounds, three assists, and was four of nine from the field. All nine shots came from beyond the arc, but it was Romero Osby once again who led the way. He had a game-high 22 points go with nine rebounds, three assists, two blocks, one steal, and oh, by the way, Osby was also 10 of 10 from the free throw line. The Sooners made all 34 of their free throws. Oklahoma is the third team in NCAA history to do that. It's been done twice before, believe it or not. OU is shooting a mind-boggling 87% from the free throw line in Big 12 home games. Oklahoma wins it 86-69 over Iowa State. We're really proud of our guys. I uh, thought uh, you know, the ability to bounce back and play like they did today is a, a tribute to the leadership of the older guys, especially especially Roe. You know, after that ball game disappointment on Wednesday, he uh, said, hey, guys, we're going we're gonna to regroup. We're going to focus on the 32 good minutes and learn from the last seven. And I thought the guys really did that the last couple of days in practice. And Roe's done that for us all year. And uh, obviously the other guys jump in there and follow his lead uh, without hesitation. So good uh, good day for the seniors. Uh, Sam, I thought, played great, knocking down some jumpers there early, really got us off to a good start, took good care of the ball. The guys moved the ball well, as they've been doing. Uh, again, to, to be a good Iowa State ball club, uh, you know, makes it even more important and happy to be able to, to celebrate with the seniors on, on their day. But a couple of Iowa State players was reminding me on the free throw line that we had <laughs> <laughs> blew a 22-point lead. Blew a 22 -point so, um, you know, like he said, it was just something that we just wanted to make sure that we didn't let it happen to us again. And uh, coach has really been on us about making every possession important. So even if we're up 20 or down 20, we got to play every possession the same way. Oklahoma now sits all alone in fourth place in the Big 12 Conference. Next up, the Sooners host West Virginia, 8 o'clock Wednesday night in Norman. David Fontenot, News OK Sports.